let's go over it once again. Really, Mother? You're just making me more nervous. It never hurts to be prepared. Well, I think there's something to be said for spontaneity. You say that as if I don't know you, Leonard. What do you mean? You always like the idea of being spontaneous, but the real thing scares the shit out of you. <sighs> Mum, you're not going to swear when you get to Mark's parents, are you? I don't know. Depends if they pissed me off or not. Bag. What? For God's sake, don't tell me you lost my speech. I, I had it in here. Although I did empty out all my crap before we left. Mother, for God's sake, what'll I do now? <laughs> Says Mr. Spontaneous. Look, you're just going to have to try and remember it. Let's run through it a few times. It'll be good for you. Honestly, Mum. Look, I'll be Mark and you be you. Ready? Go. Go? Well, well it's not going to work like that, is it? What do you mean? I mean, I'm not going to show up at his door and shout through the letterbox. Hi, Mark. Will you marry me? Well, what do you want me to do? Well, set the scene. Set the scene? Yes. We're meeting at his parents' cottage and going to a local restaurant. OK, then. <clears throat> Hello, Leonard. It's nice to see you at my parents' house. Oh, I'm Mark, by the way. Hi, Mark. It's lovely to see you. Are you and your parents ready to go? Oh, hang on. I just need to nip to the kitchen. I'm famished. I'll have a packet of crisps and something to drink for the journey. Look, <laughs> Mum, if you're not going to... Shit, the ring. Where's the ring? Don't look at me. You never gave it to me. I gave it to you before... No, hang on. Here it is. Bloody weird-looking ring, that. Mark's going to love it. A fly on you, John Raw! <coughs> Who the hell are you and what are you doing in my car? Speakest not to me in that tongue, devil. My eyes see, yet I do not believe them. Lord, I am but your humble servant. Forgive me for my wrongdoings. Halt, demon. Leaveth not me in this infernal carriage. And thou, foul witch... Hast thou summoned me forth to jest with me like thy twisted doubling? Don't point that at my mother, please! Mother? You brought forth this abominable demon. Tis worse. Carnal knowledge with serpents, undoubtedly. Let me open the door. If I don't open it, I'm going to use this on you. What fresh strangeness is this? The thing of such beauty... Give him the squeegee, Leonard. Who is he? And how did he get inside our car? I'm not really sure. Maybe he fell out of your bag. Have you got your phone? We should call someone. It's in my bag. Where's yours? Sat now, but send the dashboard. So what do we do now? John Raw. John Raw. John Raw. Oh, thyself, John Raw. Help me, sire. Forgive me, friend, I cannot. I seek John Raw. Oh, John Raw, you say? Do you want him? Oh, perhaps if you hate me. Oh, may know of you. Oh, oh. Time for these riddles. Leave me not, I beg of thee. The Lord watch you, sire. The Lord watch you, all deeds. The Lord knoweth it is my heart that drives me on. The restaurant's booked for 20 minutes from now. Mark will be wondering where we are. We should get help. Where, Mother? We're in the middle of nowhere. We haven't seen another living soul in the last hour. And in case you haven't noticed, we have an angry night in our car. There's no need to be sarky, Leonard. I'm stressed, Mother. I'm stressed already, what with the engagement, and now I'm... uber-stressed. Well, being sarky doesn't help. I'm just saying. Do you think he's escaped from some mental institution? Maybe. 
He's part of some green flag car cover we weren't aware of. But complimentary night. You talk to Mark in that tone. You should start planning your divorce already. Shh. Mark. Such a unique piece of jewellery. Mark has a fondness for the strange. That's the joy of choosing an antique ring. Each one already has a story to tell. I like the spiral. The spiral is very unusual. We suspect it belonged to a local knight, Sir Tybalt of Hawksmoor, who lived in these parts 400 years ago. Tybalt was on his way to ask for the hand in marriage of a Lady Alianor of Lewis when a skirmish broke out. He was ordered by the king to move into battle and slaughter the leader of the rebels, one John Raw. Concerned for his safety, Tybalt consulted a wise woman, a witch, who instructed him to carve a spiral into a ring with a coffin nail on a moonless night. In exchange for her help, she asked him for one small thing. A kiss, fair night, a kiss to seal our pact. Legend tells us that angered by his disgust at her, the witch had tricked Sir Tybalt. John Raw! Face me, John Raw! Be gone, demon. I mean you no trouble. I seek John Raw. John Raw, now you have found me. And that still he wanders the Sussex countryside, neither dead nor alive searching for his ring so he can marry his beloved Alianor. You look like devils still, but perhaps angels you may be. I don't understand. It's okay, Mum. I'm just being spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs>